Brianna Taylor. Last summer, we were all called to say her name. Since we got word of what happened that fateful morning when this beautiful young black woman was fatally shot in her apartment by Louisville police, Brianna has become a symbol. But as her picture has been shared widely and her name has become shorthand for a growing movement in favor of police reform, there is no better way to honor her than to tell her story. Not just the story of how she died, but to tell also the story of how she lived. And that's precisely what the Courier Journal and ABC News did with their Peabody award-winning documentary. It's a truly comprehensive look at the case that led police to Brianna's apartment door on March 13, 2020, and to the protests that gripped Louisville and the entire country since. But what most struck me were the interviews with Brianna's family, the videos of Brianna with her friends, the moments where we were able to glimpse who she was and painfully who she could have become. The work that the Courier Journal and ABC News has done here is outstanding necessary even. And I am proud to present a Peabody Award this year to Brianna Taylor, say her name. Congratulations. Nine one one operator Harris, where is your emergency? Uh, I don't I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door and shot my girlfriend. Okay, well, Sergeant Manley and police are on one side of this narrow hallway and facing them 25 feet away are Kenneth Walker and Brianna Taylor. Protect Brianna, protect myself. That's what was going through my head. What did I do? I was banging at the door and she said, who is it? And then I just started shooting. Whoever shot her is responsible for her death. My girlfriend is dead. I don't give it. Keep walking. It's a tale of two points of view from opposite sides of the same door. And those really reflect the view of America, the police point of view, and the point of view of black citizens who feel they're under siege. We have to say her name, Breonna Taylor, because her life matters. Say her name. 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 Won't you say her name? Brianna is bigger than Brianna. We want to thank you for this incredible honor. In the midst of COVID lockdowns, the story of Brianna Taylor, a young woman shot by law enforcement in her own home, grew into a national rallying cry for police reform. A rallying cry that just didn't stop. In the aftermath of Brianna's shooting, protests raged in Louisville, Kentucky, her hometown, for more than 100 days. ABC News was on the ground, not just covering the protest, but embedding with community activists and investigating all angles of this story. Our team landed key interviews, including one with Brianna's mom, boyfriend, and police sergeant John Manningly. They helped provide a complete picture of what happened to her that night. Now to tell this story on 2020, we forged a unique partnership with Louisville's Courier Journal, part of the USA Network. Local reporters shared the same commitment to straightforward journalism, reporting all facts of Breonna Taylor's story and the impact these events had on not just the community, but in the world. And it was an honor for us to work with them. It absolutely was. And we are so proud to accept the Peabody on behalf of our 2020 team. This award is a reflection of the tireless effort put into the story by so many people in our news division across every single platform. So we wanna thank you again for this incredible honor. <laughs>